Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson again with another video and today we're talking all about the golden ratio. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you've ever seen the golden ratio being performed on logo design, you've probably said that that guy is an absolute wizard. Well, today I'm gonna to make you into a wizard of logo design and composition because the golden ratio isn't too complicated to learn. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you today how we're gonna create the golden ratio so you can use it in Illustrator and also how you can use it within your composition and logo design to create it. So on my screen right now, I've got a logo design that is purely created by 1.618 and that is the golden ratio. Sounds confusing, but it's not. Let me explain. So in this document here, I've got a bunch of stuff going on. I've got a couple of examples and I've also got this sort of composition going on here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the composition of a golden ratio. This sort of snail type grid that we've got going on here basically is the way that we can use to create a composition off a website, a brochure, a logo design, anything you want really. It's been used on buildings, animals have it, like the owls have it, like you know the barn owls, they've got it on their eyes, is literally, if I was to turn this like that, that is literally like a barn owl's eye and it fits perfectly. The Twitter logo bird was actually created using the golden ratio too, and so have plenty of other logo designs. Now the idea of the golden ratio is to make things look nice. Leonardo da Vinci used it during his paintings of the Last Supper because it had the proportions Correct, and it's a great way of getting really nice balanced proportions to whatever size you want to use. And we do that by what I'm gonna show you now. So right here, I've got the guides here, and all I did was I made the actual golden ratio and I put it as guides. And before I wanna show you the golden ratio and how to make it, I'm gonna show you what it does. So basically, I've got a, go a brochure here, and you can see I've got a bunch of text down here, and I've got some text up here, and this is really basic stuff, people. Just really basic stuff. I don't wanna go ahead too much, but this is the logo, and this is the golden ratio bit here, and this is some more content there. And basically, you can use this for websites as well. I wanna go ahead and create a good sort of like page on the side where I could put other links to different stories. Say if it was a media's website. So let's say this is the website here. So this is what it looks like, kinda of like an A4 piece of paper. Okay, we'll do this. We'll scale it down a bit so you can see it a bit more. And let's say I wanted to have a bit on the side here uh, for like other stories in this mock-up, but I don't know where it should go. Well. Luckily, we've got the golden ratio. So all you have to do is highlight this, press Command C, Command F to copy and paste it on front, and then go to transform. And I've got my window here, and if you don't have it, it's up at window, and you go down to transform, and it should be there. And basically, just make sure they're both constrained. So press this little button here, which basically constrains the angles. And we're gonna go on the highlighted version. So divide by 1.618, which is the golden ratio term or the Fibonacci term. So that's what you've got to put down, right? And then we press enter and you can see that it scaled it down a little bit, the copied version. So now what we do is we just move this here and say I want the content on the left. So now we can have a bunch of content on the left, like so. And then we can have like other things on the right, down here. And you can see that's a very basic form of creating a nice composition to your work because with this actual sizing, this is the sort of ratio, the golden ratio of getting in a good proportion. Now, what if we were to add this to this sheet here? Well, basically all I've done is as a brochure, I've used this grid down here to create the main bulk of text. I've got up here another bulk of text that we could use if we wanted to. And I've got the logo over here just because it fits. And that is the way the golden ratio works in composition terms. I just wanna say a little disclaimer. It is ridiculously difficult to show you all the things in my brain about the golden ratio in a 10 minute video. So I might have to do two videos of this. So now you understand a bit about the golden ratio in composition, I'm gonna show you how you can actually create one to use just like here. So the only difference between these two actual golden ratios here are the fact that we've got a spiral and one's got circles in them. And we use the circles just so we can see what the circles will be like and maybe use them in a logo design. But I'm gonna show you how to create this one. So first off, we're just gonna go ahead and make a nice square. So go into your document and go make a 100 by 100 square like that, or just hold shift and create a square. I'm gonna get rid of the fill just there. 
I'm then gonna go ahead and just copy this down like so. I'm gonna copy another one here to the right and I'm gonna go and hold shift and make this big and it's gonna fit these two. Then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees, copy this big one over here and repeat the process. And we're gonna keep doing this as accurately as possible because I wanna make sure it's all accurate. So I'm going to outline modes here. I'm gonna go and make this a bit smaller to make it easier. And then I'm gonna go ahead, highlight everything, rotate it 90 degrees, oop, too far. Copy this over here, making sure it's perfectly aligned to everything. Make it bigger, making sure that's perfectly aligned. So as you can see right there, we've got the uh, logo grid here. And if I wanted to add circles to this, it's very easy. All you have to do is go ahead and basically just get your circle tool, find the center of each one, make sure that you've been pretty accurate with it. And you're just going to the center of each of these squares. And basically what this does is if I was to have a logo design, I wouldn't change the sizing of any of these circles, but I would go ahead and use these circles in proportion to each other. So if I was to create like a weird logo design, I would just keep reusing these circles here or using that one. And that's what the proportion's all about. You don't change the scale of the circle to fit. You find the circle that kind of fits and you use it. And that's how the golden ratio works with that. Now to create the spiral version of the golden ratio, which a lot of people use, all you have to do is it's very easy. Again, just create a circle like so. Go ahead and basically cut them at the anchor points at the uh, side and the top and then copy this one over. Go to the transform tool, go to width, and then go to minus, or sorry, divide by 1.618, and it will make it smaller. On the other hand, you can make it bigger by timesing it, but I prefer to divide it. So we've got that there, and then we just rotate it to fit. We just copy another one, and we just repeat this process, divide by 1.618, rotate it 90 degrees again, just copy this, divide by 1.618, rotate it 90 degrees. And if you don't know whether it's hitting the mark or hitting the exact point, press command Y and you can see whether it's actually a one sort of spiral. And as you can see here, it's creating the golden ratio, which is an infinite thing. And then we just highlight all these, press command J to join them. And to create the border around it, you just basically match up a square to it. So you wanna get all the corners of this exactly right. So we just get the corners in there. And you wanna take your time creating this if you can't do it quickly enough. But you can see here that I'm trying to hit this one right there. And that's basically the uh, golden ratio there. But if I wanted to go ahead and create these circles or squares inside them, you can either just do this separately or just take this sort of big square that you've just made, copy and paste it, go ahead, divide by 1.618 again. And we just start doing this on this side and we carry on just like before. Now that I've told you a lot of stuff that's probably just blown out of your head so quickly. I'm gonna show you how I created that logo design in the golden ratio. So as you can see here, I've got the golden ratio on my screen and it's in guides at the minute. And this is how I like to design my logos. So what I did to create this tower that you're seeing here, or this castle for a HR company that it isn't the finished logo, it's just another idea that I had. Basically all I did was I created the sort of the square here. So I'll go to this, lay here, I created a square here, and then I wanted another square, so I just created a square there, and made sure they matched up, like so. And because my idea for the design was up here before, it kind of fit this sort of standard design. It's kind of fitting within the actual bounding box of the golden ratio, and I had the perfect way of doing it. And then all I did was to find out like these parts up here of the design that you see these little chimney bits. All I did was I went ahead and I stole this part of it because that's a good proportion in the golden ratio to have. And I put it here and I just did this and did that. It looks really rough and tumble. And then basically I just carried on using the golden ratio throughout the whole process of it. So instead of me showing you how I did it, basically all I'm doing here is fitting it in with the guide and you can see how it actually works right here. I'm gonna make this into a nice lighter gray so you can see where it's coming from. So basically this fits within this sort of golden ratio part because I've got the spiral here and they've got the cutout from the spiral. I've got this part here 
intersecting or stopping at the golden ratio line, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I've got this part here, which finishes up here. And obviously we could have another curve down here if we wanted to, but it wouldn't make sense. And each of these squares fit within the golden ratio terms. And what that does is it gives a really nice sense of proportion to the design. And you can use this with any sort of design that you're looking at to gain a good sense of proportion. Until we finally had this sort of logo here, which looked really good. And in comparison with one that wasn't actually designed in the golden ratio, as you can see there, this was not designed in the golden ratio. Does it look bad? No, it doesn't. But does this one look a tiny bit better and a bit more pleasing to the eye? I think so, just because of the way that it fits with the eyes and the proportions are correct in this. So guys, I hope I haven't just confused everyone, but I hope you've learned something new today, something that you can take away and use it in your designs. If you don't know, we have a competition going on right now. So check out one of the last videos that I did. Uh, I'll link it in the description below. Watch the whole video. And then at the end, I talk about the competition where we're doing. I just want to say thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Guys, if you don't know, Squarespace is a website platform that I use to create my website to get clients and to put my portfolio up. It's really easy to use and it's fairly cheap to have every month and it's just a great asset to sell things on, to sell yourself and your services and also just to give people that cutting edge look at yourself. If you're interested in getting Squarespace and click the link in the description below to get 10% off. Make sure you like and subscribe this video. If you don't, I'll be sad because we just hit 100,000. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.